Hey guys, 22nd of March. Uh, yeah, spring is starting to come around here in North Georgia. Um, things are, a few, few of the trees are greening up a little bit and flowering, um, particularly the pears and cherries. Um, anyway, I've been in the creek a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, water's really high. I've tried to do a few uh, videos up into uh, up in the creek, but uh, just have not been successful with the videos. They've uh, come out very grainy, and um, a lot of it has has to do with the uh, signal quality, but uh, hasn't been too good over that way. Um, but anyway, I got some things here. Thought we could look at some things I pulled out recently, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, most part these uh these are all either palm grinders or a little bit larger grinders but uh some of them are kind of interesting so we'll go ahead and get looking at them uh, this is a sandstone piece here uh kind of a linear piece uh, got a lot of a lot of staining on it um notch work here this is a right handed piece um, a lot of staining there on the tip that's where the index finger would have gone Just your grinding surface there. It's raining and uh, <clears throat> signal quality may not be very good today. Well, hopefully I can do this video, but um, yeah, it would have been held like that. With that index finger being there. Good, good hard sandstone, not not real grainy, almost like almost like chert, but it's sandstone. And here's a piece here. It's another right-handed piece. Um, actually, been a lot of work done to this thing. This is kind of a mix of quartz and granite. Um, this has all been chipped out on the side here. You see the staining in there. This is the thumb side. Got a dimple up here for the index finger on the tip. That's your grinding surface. Didn't say the best quality material, but. They can do with what they had. Here's kind of a really odd piece. I don't. This is sandstone. Um, it's shaped in a very odd way. Don't know why. It's got like this hook on the end. It's triangular shaped. I'm assuming this was a type of grinder. That looks like it's been ground down here. Looks like the grinding surface. <laughs> I don't know. I just find these odd pieces at times. Don't know. Here's a, a large grinder. A really good shape. Um, that's your grinding surface there. This is uh, granite. Um, polished around the sides and, and stained. Notched out. All this has been pecked down on the top. But overall, good shape. Good heavy material. See the wear on the edges there. Get it up on the edges some when they're doing their grinding, and that's, that's what causes that. Here's the one that's got a little bit of a heel on it. Got blue granite on it, and this part here is quartzite, or maybe a really hard sandstone. Grinding surface there.
This is kind of a cool piece. In relatively good shape also. I just thought it was pretty cool with that heel up there. A little blue granite heel on top. And it's a left-handed piece here. Good size grinder. This is quartzite. A little bit of group blue granite in there. It's your grinding surface. Big heavy piece here. This thing probably weighs about three, maybe four pounds. Dimpled out there. Good shape and polish and polish down here. The finger will lay right in there. And <clears throat> in a previous video, I showed a material that I had never seen before in all the years hunting these, these tools. And it was this sea foam, kind of aquamarine, almost metallic looking material. Well, here's that same material in a really crude grinding stone here. So now this is the second time I've found it. It's kind of funny that I, I brought that piece out. I've had it for some years, and I brought it out for a video just uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. I'm not even sure if I posted the video, but um, I have no idea what that material is. Anybody got an idea, let me know. But it's a, it's just, it looks like it's a kind of a seafoam blue or green. I don't know, real hard, heavy. This is just a really crude grinder. Um, it's a grinding surface there. You, you can see they've had they had difficulty chipping this thing. <laughs> they tried to, you know, you can see the staining in there from the finger, but they didn't do the best job of chipping it out in the front there. nice piece here this has got a heel on the top too it's just gray granite a little bit of bluish tint I guess you know, this is all polished on the top here just kind of make it more comfortable for your palm I guess when you hold it See all the chipping work around the edges, pecking work. Nice piece. And here's a quartz piece here. This is a right-handed piece. It's a little small one. Relatively fair amount of work done. It's kind of a worn piece. Thumb notch right here. Really worn actually. There's your grinding or polishing surface there. Probably at one time in a lot better shape than it is today. But anyway. Just liked it. Let me put some work into it. And here's a blackstone piece here that it's a really nice piece. 
There's a lot of work put into this piece. Just a grinding stone. Kind of dimpled out here in the back. Not totally sure how this thing was held. Ton of really nice polishing work done on it. Really good solid material. Here's another black stone piece here, and um, I don't think this thing was is a tool. I don't know what it is, but um, there's I just can't find any real wear. This thing is like super super polished piece, and I mean super polished and in really good shape. Don't think this was used for a tool. I don't know what it would have been used for, but I don't think a tool. I could be wrong. You don't see them polished quite that. I mean, this is like, it's a little hard to describe just how polished this piece is. Super slick. Anybody got a guess, let me know. And a nice little palm grinder here. Um, a lot of quartz in this piece. It's actually a pretty darn nice piece. It's a notch heck down on the top like after a while they get tired of holding a certain way you know they'll, they'll do it like this instead of holding it on the sides And that's the grinding surface. Got to look at these things close, guys. And that's all I've got. I've got plenty more um, piled up over here on the bench that I need to get sorted. You know, we'll get we'll get these sorted out and uh, take a look at those next time. Anyway, guys, hope you're doing well, and just thought maybe you would enjoy looking at these, and um, hope you have a good weekend. Talk with you later.